You want to know how, how Stan Lane got into business? Go ahead. I'm at the Hilton Hotel with the lovely Elizabeth, Charlotte's mom, right? And I'm trying to be a big shot. So I'm trying to get her drunk at nine o'clock in the morning ordering Bloody Marys. We're at the beach. So I order four Bloody Marys. This is what I was still working at, right? Nothing, no, 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 a ship has not sailed yet, but I'm in the process of, you know, throwing the anchor out. So I'm big shot and, and the kid comes to the door and he goes, oh my God, are you Ric Flair? I said, yeah. He said, Jesus. I said, I, I said, I'd like to talk to you, man, but I'm busy, but I'll be downstairs in a little bit. So he comes up to me and said, I want to be a wrestler. So I started training him in Minneapolis and in, uh, in Charlotte. You trained Stan Lane? Yes. I did not know that. 500 free squats. 500 free squats. I trained him physically. Not, I never got in the ring with him, but I got him ready to go. I can't remember where I got him booked at, but yep. Handsome Stan, well, man. Hey, Stan, Stan was big. He, he was, at that point in time in his life, he was big in the uh, flight attendant world, as was, as was I. <laughs> <laughs> we I both was like Stan dated Vanna we, White from Wheel of Fortune. Is that true? No, that was me. 1978. Is that true? Wow. Well, one date. You know, she well, uh, dates you know, a date. That's more than I've had with Vanna White. Yeah, at one date. 2001. Well, well, first of all, it wasn't a date. I didn't ask her out, but I met her. <laughs> right, I got and you. That, yeah, that's, that's, every time she spins the wheel, she must say, Nay. Your butt. <laughs> I bet I bet you spotted her a vile or two. Uh, <laughs> now, now, the Midnight Express invented a lot of double high spots, like uh, the Vegematic and Divorce Court double team high spots. Were they trendsetters in that regard? They were one of the first that I remember to kind of use those consistently. Yes, I would say so. Yeah, it certainly, it certainly wasn't Ole and Gene who were a great tag team, but totally different styles. I mean, you know, I, I went from I went from Nick and Ray to Ole and Gene, the ground and pound, the grab the arm, ride the arm, from watching Nick and Ray go upside down and all that. And I said to myself, well, I'm I'm honored that they're going to let me be their cousin and get that rub, but that, that that's not how I work. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, after after seeing Ray Stevens bounce around, that's when I got in my mind. That's what I want to be.